Okay, hey YouTube, um, I'm sorry I haven't been doing JavaScript tutorials for a while, but uh, I just wanted to get this tutorial out of the way. Uh, I've been meaning to do this tutorial. It's actually how to replace a desktop 3.5 inch hard drive with in an external casing. As you, I have a USB 2.0 IDE external case. IDE means that's the connection type. I can't do SATA or PATA hard drives. So we're going to replace this 10 gig with this 80 gig. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to get the case off. I've already uh, taken off the panels right here, so don't have to worry about that. Put that to the side. Put this, put that to the side as well. And of course, you're going to need a screwdriver. For mine, I need a Phillips head. And we're just going to unscrew this right here. Back this up so you can see. This is what's holding the hard drive down, basically. A little uh, metal, metal plate. And right here we have something. Uh, I like to call this a mini motherboard. Right here, a little mini motherboard. I want. I like to call it that, but it's not. It's just a power chip. So when you plug in your power supply right here, uh, and your USB uh, port, port right there, uh, the power supply mainly delivers power to the hard drive and to this little fan right here, which uh, I, we put in there. And uh, you know, it gives power to the IDE connector too. And basically USB, this transfers the USB into your computer. In this case, I'm using my laptop. So right now, we're going to take this plate off so we can replace the hard drive. So excuse me if this is a little slow. Uh, I didn't feel like speeding up this time here. So go ahead and... Uh, the other side as well. All right, we have four screws. Now you want to be careful not to lose your screws, so you can screw the plate back in. So I'm just going to put the screws right there, and we can actually lift the plate off. That just basically holds it down. So we're going to put that to the side, and we have little shocks right here. These little black shocks, which keep it from rumbling because there's disc sectors in there which spin and spin so we don't want those moving around so we're just going to put those right there and of course we can now lift up the hard drive all right now you want to disconnect your IDE cable if this will let me so you want to disconnect the IDE first so it's not a hassle all right not a hassle to get the IDE off now the hassle for me is this power supply. Alright. Hold on guys. Just need to get this thing off. I don't know why it's stuck like that. Okay. We got it. Got the hard drive out. There we go. Got it out. Finally. Put that to the down put that down. And as you can see we have no hard drive. So you have a power connector and your IDE connector. Now, if you turned on, if you plug this into a computer without the hard drive, and you plugged into a power supply and stuff like that, only the fan would run. So, okay, let's go ahead and plug in this. We have our 80 gig. Let's go ahead and plug this into the connector. Make sure you don't bend the pins when you plug it in as well. And make sure you don't go crooked, because if you go crooked, you could bend the pins as well. So let's go ahead and... Plug that in as well, so we got that plugged in, and oops, there we go. Now we can just push that right in there, and now we'll put these little shocks on, so we can screw it back in. Uh oh, that way we can screw the plate back in. Need to put all four shocks back. Okay. Taking a little longer than I expected. Sorry, I'm probably gonna end up cutting this. All right, got those two in, and we got this last one. And that one.
Okay, so we got the things back on. So carefully place your plate back onto it. So it's holding them so they don't move. And we're going to go ahead and screw these little babies in. So let's go ahead and uh, position the plate just right. All right, we got the plate on. So go ahead and put your screw in. And let's go ahead and screw it in. Mine's a magnetic thing, so I can hold the screws right. And all right. And Okay, we got the plate on. Now all I have to do is screw them in. So, we just put them in. Screw it down. Don't screw them too tight because you might have to move it later. Alright, just put the next one in. And screw it down. Not too tight, of course. And next we'll put the next one in on this side, we'll push it down, screw it in, and last screw, thank God, so screw the last one in, and we are done, we are done with screwing it in, and now you have connected your lab, your uh, 3.5 inch uh, IDE desktop hard drive into your casing, all that's left is putting the case back together. So let's go ahead and put the case in there. Put the case on top. And there we go. Just to connect it right there. Okay. And I have these to latch on. So there we go. Now I have successfully connected my IDE 3.5 inch hard drive into the external casing so I hope you enjoy this tutorial uh, all you have to do now is basically plug in your power and plug in your USB plug it into your wall and plug it into your computer and give it a second to install the driver for the hard drive and then it should come in come up as an as an external hard drive for you alright um, hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for my next tutorials and my programming tutorials as always and as always, like I always say, comment, rate, and subscribe.